folks, Mike Lawson here, Lawson Outdoors. And I'm starting a project. It's an ATV lawnmower project. Um, Fearless Front. If you know him on YouTube, he's a YouTuber. He turns um, lawnmowers into ATV lawnmowers and he goes off road in them, goes mudding in them, and all that kind of stuff. Well, I decided to start a project. He inspired me to start a project. What I went out and bought, I went out and bought a, an old Bolin's ST100 Suburban tractor, lawnmower. And it's, a, it's an old lawnmower. I, I don't know what year it is, but it's pretty stout. You know, back in, the, back in those days, they actually had the all metal deck on there. You know, it's, it's not that stamped steel that it is today. It's a little bit stronger gauge steel than it is today. And it also has the electric PTO. It has a button right here that engages the PTO. See there? That's kind of nice. I've never seen that before, but it's probably standard. It has a um, five-speed transmission with reverse, and it's up here right under the uh, steering wheel. That's kind of nice, kind of tractor-like. It's pretty sweet pretty stout it has a, um i got my boat battery up here starting it right now it has a, a 10 horsepower Briggs and stratton engine it runs pretty decently i think the water pump is mess not the water pump but the fuel pump is messing up on it probably needs a fuel pump replaced because when you idle it up Carburetor needs adjusting. Probably needs adjusting or something like that. Some wires fell apart. Or it, the air cover, the air cleaner didn't come with it. It was actually removed when I bought it. So I paid 80 bucks for it. I mean, it's a nice buy. So I'm hoping up. I'm after seeing it. You know, I kind of wanted to. You no, know, didn't want to hack it up real bad. I kind of thought about restoring it, but I'm not sure. It probably still make a good um, ATV. Thinking about um, thinking about increasing the ground clearance, and just like if you watch Fearless Front, his videos, he actually made a back a bracket for the back to actually increase the ground clearance in the back of the lawnmower. And I'm thinking about doing that and also in the front actually welding on like longer struts that increase the ground clearance on there and um i don't know it's the start of a project i'll be updating it more as i go the next thing i have to do is get some welding equipment some uh stick welding equipment so that's the first time i'll be doing that so you know it's a lot of new beginnings on this project but it's a pretty the body isn't in great shape for I mean for what it is for for the year and uh, you can see the the um, 10 horsepower engines it's still running 10 horsepower Briggs might need a little bit of um you know a little bit of work done to it the tires I'm going to go with new tires hopefully some wider tires bigger tires and I've actually cut the grass with it <laughs> you can see the yard it actually cuts real good i mean it cuts smooth so you know never know i'll probably finish cutting grass with it just to play with it today it's actually my day to cut grass i my other lawnmower is a, um um what kind of lawnmower i forgot the name of but it's a um it's a lowe's lawnmower and ryan lawnmower it does a pretty good job job but i'll finish up today with the um with the Suburban and see how it works out. But I'll be updating more as I go. All right, Lawson Outdoors, I'm out.